everybody, this is Praxis and we're here at the entrance to the root cellar slash fallout shelter. We've been working on these walls today. Uh, this one here, this one behind me. Uh, the excavator's here and they've been picking through this giant pile of stones that you can see behind you uh, for the, the good rocks, the wall rocks. So we took a lot of like the ones that are just kind of round boulders that aren't really good for stacking into walls and threw them on the other side over there for fill. And we're taking what's left and trying to put it here. There's one piece that's gonna be kind of tricky and that is gonna be like a lintel that goes over the top because we wanna cover the whole top in dirt. I'd love it to grow in with plants and flowers or whatever might wanna grow up there. And I, I, I don't want the dirt coming over the edge. So we wanna have like a lintel piece on the top. We were thinking about having this large stone that's just next to the foundation back on your left over here. Uh, setting across, it would just about barely make it. But there's another option uh, that I, I've kind of thought about while I've been seeing him work today. I didn't think it was going to be an option before, but the, just seeing the way the excavator is able to kind of flip stones around and manipulate them, I think we might be able to get it. And it's on the far side, just beyond this, you see this big rock uh, face over there. There's a sheet of that rock that's maybe about uh, you know, a little less than a foot thick. Uh, and it's cracked off of the surface. Uh, this is uh, some kind of like old, uh, I don't know, it's some kind of layered rock. I don't know if it's sedimentary or metamorphic or whatever, I'm not a geologist. But there's definite layers to it. It has cleavage that runs vertically. And it, it seems like we have a chance of being able to maybe pull that piece off. Uh, once we get some fill on the other side, flop it down, and then he might be able to bring it over and set it here, uh, over here, over this area. And it would be great because it would run from probably over here all the way over to here. It's a huge section. It would sit just comfortably right on the top and put a little bit of a dirt pad down there so it's not rock on top of, right on the, uh, on the concrete. Uh, but uh, that could be kind of cool. So we're thinking about that this morning. We only have a, a half day here today, uh, pretty much just here doing this. Uh, River's gonna be getting together with some friends later on today and uh, we're gonna be doing that. But uh, until lunchtime, we're here trying to get as much of this done as we can. And then after that, it's really, we just have to get a lot of fill. And fill's kind of a pain, fill is like dirt sand, that, that kind of stuff, just to fill in the area, bring up the level. You can see all the pink foam insulation on the, uh, the ha uh, house uh, foundation over there. We got to get all that covered up and it's, it's, it's kind of a pain. It's expensive to buy. It's like, you know, I'm spending all this money on dirt. But I remember from the last place I skimped and one of the greatest assets of the last place was having the house bermed in and you had that natural insulating layer. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna to try to be a little bit more liberal this time with what I bring in. I'm not gonna to try to skimp quite as much because it's important to do it right the first time. You get things the way they wanna be and, you know, 10 years down the road, it doesn't matter whether or not you have, you know, you'd spent a little bit of extra money. Uh, you know, getting things working better because that's the name of the game. You want this place working as well as it possibly can. So if you ever need it and depend on it for your life, it's gonna serve you in the best way possible. And I should stop now because the machine's coming back and it's really loud. That's it. Thanks for watching.